time for our Lake Powell 2024 fishing trip. Sponsored by Albanese. <laughs> oh. We're here in Fillmore right now uh, on our trip down. We've got about four hours left. Just stopped at a Maverick to get gas and a bite to eat, but uh, stay tuned and we'll we'll be back at the lake. All right. <laughs> today thankfully though next week the weather's gonna be great high 70s low 80s not crazy wind so we're just we're just walking to the houseboat right now where we'll be staying all week we're gonna I'll show later where we're headed where we're gonna park the houseboat and the areas we're gonna fish but thankfully just today's windy and we expect to have a really great week of fishing. Hopefully we can get into some biggins, or as we like to call them, swamp donkeys. Start out with an eighth ounce. Texas rig. All right, so with this rod, I've got, uh, I think this is a 3 out EWG hook. I'm gonna Texas rig this creature bait. See that? Right there. This is, this is my go-to creature bait, like cross-style plastic this rigged on the bobber stopper and eight ounce weight I'm gonna give this a go probably change up the color of the plastic but this underspin swim bait see if I can get some better bites this trip our maiden voyage is about to begin we are getting ready to head up lake to get to our campsite for a uh, a good old week of swamp donkey catching. Well, he won't be catching swamp donkeys, but I think I will. Josh is about to go in the water though. <laughs> Kyle, please explain your catch. This is a Lake Powell special. World's smallest smallmouth bass. Kyle just got a two, 2.6, 2.61 smallmouth on a on a jig with a bandito bug. Bandito bug with a jig. Let's go, buddy. Kyle caught another good size smallie. Get a good release. All right, uh, we made the run up the lake from last chance where our houseboat is all the way up to the San Juan. Nice long windy trip. 40 minutes. <laughs> Took us about 40 minutes. This is where we're at. Got one fish so far, but as the morning warms up, we should catch more. Darren got another one. Fish on! Don't lose it. Yeah, I probably will. Is it, it's a big end? I right, caught this um, two, about two pound walleye. Caught him right at the boat. Whoa, scary sucker. <laughs> he caught him right at the boat on a, on a 5XD crankbait. We're gonna keep him though so we can eat him later. Mm. <laughs>
Largemouth. Biggest one of the trip so far. It's Monday. Two point one four. Two point one four. Get a release on this two pound small mouth. Large mouth. Got this two and a half pound largemouth. I think it was on a bed. Caught it on a little micro swim bait. These dingles both caught largies. Fish flap. Finally. <laughs> Fish flap. Cheers. <laughs> Fish fight. Couldn't get a video of the catch, but this is a almost three and a half pound largemouth caught on a spinner bait with a swim bait trailer. Almost four pound bass. Here we go. Killing the small mouth or large mouth right now. Day three of Lake Powell fishing has been really slow. We are eating lunch in Pothole Arch. It's been a slow day, but... Wow! Poked me! <laughs> oh! Did it poke you? It did poke me. Caught it on... Uh, on this guy basically itself it caught it wanted to eat its own kind got a 3.76 largey on a spinner bait can't get her down <laughs> two point one four pound smally can you get a release Oh, look, they're kissing. Let's, re <laughs> let's release them in the water like that. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> this is day four of our Lake Pell trip. We're in the back of Base Canyon today. Uh, we've been here all morning and failed to get much video but we've caught multiple what would you say how many two pound <laughs> small one probably five or six no more than two pound oh more than that. okay maybe up to ten but a lot one aaron's two and a on half fish right now aaron's on a fish There you have it, folks. So we're out here in the back of Face Canyon, and we found something interesting. Josh, why don't you demonstrate? Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> <laughs> this big wall right here echoes back to us. Oh, and Josh has got a fish. <laughs> Did you not get the hook? No, I got the hook set. <laughs> I didn't know you had a fish. Every time we yell, I go, Whoa! Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Kyle caught one. This water is so crazy clear. Water. Almost like he isn't in the water anymore. <laughs> Three pound largemouth caught last chance on day four of our trip. Hey, 
there he or she goes. Two and a half pound largemouth. We're getting into them here in last chance. We get a release. Swim baits are money today. This is what has been catching them today. Some money. Why are you showing them our secrets? So they can learn stuff. Day five of our Lake Powell trip, and we are still catching swamp donkeys. Still catching swamp donkeys. 1.68. Not huge, but it's a good one. We're introducing our friends. Small mouth, meet large mouth. <laughs> and last chance again today, day five. Caught a crappie, almost a pound and a half. 14 inches. 14 and a quarter. Kyle's out here catching biggins. Back here in Twitchell. I have to zoom in just to <laughs> point two eight. That's what you call a swamp donkey right there. It's a tremendous day. Kyle has finally landed a crappie it's at Lake Powell. It's a tremendous Kyle. day for Josh for some reason. Yeah. Because it, it's a crappie. Yep. Caught this uh, almost two and a half pound bass on top water at Lake Powell. It's really calm this morning. So we're throwing frogs up into those tree branches and finally got one to bite. We weren't able to get the, the catch, but what's the weight, Kyle? 4.06. Yeah. That is the large mouth of the week so far. <laughs> See yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> See, you did it finally. Wasn't it worth it? We're just killing the largemouth today, this week. This is at almost three and a quarter. This is our setup at the houseboat. Everyone else has got their stuff tied up. We started here, Started took the houseboat the all the way up. I think we stayed in probably one of these on the right side. Fished all around here, West Canyon, Rock Creek was terrible. And then Monday we traveled all the way up to the San Juan fished up here. We also fished in Reflection Canyon, which is really beautiful. A little preview of the houseboat we're staying on. Wave hi, Ken. Hey, Josh. <laughs> Friday night. Yep. Last day. Last day. All right. Um, this video is like a week late. I just totally forgot to do a recap video. It was an amazing, like an amazing week of fishing for us. Probably our best, best week we've ever had in like the seven years we've been doing this trip together. And when I say best trip, I mean the, the overall like average size of fish was just phenomenal when it came to largemouth and smallmouth. We probably caught upwards of 20 largemouth in the two and a half to four pound range. Uh, I can't even count how many smallmouth we caught in the two plus pound range. We we rarely fished uh, throughout the Ned rigs or the single tail, four inch single tail grubs. Other people in our group were doing that and they were catching a lot of the smaller ones, but um, that's a good way to still catch a lot of fish at Powell this time of year. But uh, we threw everything really but that when it came to spinner baits, spinner baits with swim bait trailers, uh, build crank baits, uh, lipless crank baits, uh, swim baits in like the four inch uh, length, those worked really well for us uh, in either white or you know natural colors. Uh, shaky head did really well for us uh, with um, you know just your standard worm. I, I, I don't know the exact length, but 
uh, in like a green pumpkin or watermelon with red flake that did really well. Yeah, we threw basically almost everything in our tackle box. Even got, it was really exciting in a, on a calm morning uh, in the back of Last Chance in some uh, uh, flooded brush, we were able to throw some frogs and we were able to even get um, some largemouth on uh, top water bite, which was really cool for this time of year. We've caught the most walleye we've ever caught, fishing crankbaits, just, you know, offhand, weren't necessarily targeting them. Uh, when we targeted crappie, did really well. We found a couple honey holes around some uh, trees that produce not just crappie, but tons of little largemouth and smallmouth, um, even some uh, bluegill and sunfish. Uh, didn't really fish for stripers, but we caught a couple good ones, just trolling crankbaits through uh, the deep parts of towards the back of canyons, not really out where most people are fishing for for striper. But overall, it was it was an amazing week. Couldn't have asked for a better week. Hopefully, you all enjoy this video. I've never done anything like this really, so hopefully, uh, you enjoy the adventure we had, and maybe I'll do another one of these on one of our other fishing trips. Um, but yeah.